Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. What would our Lord say about the determination of so many in the church to please the world? This interest in becoming worldly, in being politically correct, in suppressing everything that the world does not want to hear, and in saying only what the world wants to hear. Our Lord, perhaps, perhaps, he would take again in his hands the rope with which he scourged the merchants, or better said, with which he scourged the cattle the merchants sold in the temple. Perhaps the Lord would say again that you have made my house a den of thieves, but my house is and must be a house of prayer. It doesn't seem to me that all those who are trying to secularize the church are thieves or do it for the sake of being thieves. God will judge, but it's possible that they have good in intentions. However, the way could not be more mistaken. It couldn't be more suicidal. My house is, is a house of prayer, and since it is a house of prayer, it is everything else. If we take away the root of the tree, the tree withers, dies, and bears no fruit. If they take away the relationship with God from us, it makes no sense for us to continue to exist as church will be more or less effective or more or less an honest NGO, but not the Church of Christ. Therefore, if the world persecutes us, if the world criticizes us, if they threaten us, it is a sign that we're being faithful to Christ. It is not that we seek persecution threats. It's not true. It's not possible. We don't want that. But if it happens, it's because we're being faithful to Christ. If the world applauds us, we have to be suspicious when people say that we are great. It's then when we should be concerned and alarmed. Christ was persecuted. We must not forget it. He was resurrected, but first he was crucified. We, on the other hand, don't want to accept their criticisms. Normally, there is no persecution like that of Christ, but there are small persecutions, criticisms, mockery, irony. Perhaps sometimes we do not progress properly or as we would have the right in the company, discomfort within the family, which is nothing compared to the redemptive death of our Lord. We should have been prepared since we were born since we went to catechesis, we should be prepared and we should be prepared and we should be prepared to assume and accept criticisms and harassment as something normal. Today we would say, using a very fashionable word, bullying, we should be prepared for bullying. I am a Christian, I'm a Catholic, I will be persecuted, I will be criticized. I am a minority, but precisely because of this, it is worthwhile to continue to exist in order to be a light in the darkness, salt of the earth, and light of the world. Let us ask the Lord that we may not lack the courage to be his witnesses. Let us ask him to help us overcome the fear of being persecuted as he was persecuted. Amen.